Well, okay, so given the fact that there are Pokemon over here, that may lead you to believe that this is a Pokemon video, but it's not. We also have Digimon, we have Pal, we have uh, <laughs> Hanamon hiding among them. Um, no, this video is going to be one of the miscellaneous Digidustin videos. Uh, most of them are just going to get all put into like one video, but uh, this one is going to be specifically about Michael. Um, who is one of the American G. Dustin. Um, he is also one of Mimi's friends from America. Uh, we're introduced to him in the second season, and uh, his Digimon is Betamon, uh, which turns into Seedramon. Um, and in regards to this, um, that's why I have a whole bunch of water Pokemon out here, because Betamon is, uh, Betamon and Seedramon live in the water. Uh, and that was the closest thing I had because I didn't have anything that looked like fish that wasn't a shark or a whale shark or a hammerhead shark. Uh, and then we got Tanamon over here, of course, because Mimi, because Michael and Mimi are friends. Um, so, uh, most of the other miscellaneous Digidestin that we meet throughout the, uh, Digital, Digimon World Tour, uh, two little episodes things, those are gonna just get covered in, like, one video, but we learn a bit about Michael and we interact with him a bit, so I thought he warranted his own video. Um, and then the other one after this one will be Willis, um, because canonically, by a technicality, I think they meet Willis after they meet Michael, but in the, I think it's the Brazilian dub of Digimon, um, they just basically treat, uh, Michael as Willis, which, they give him, like, the same voice actor and they even call him Willis or Wallace. Um, Willis has been referred to both as Willis and Wallace. I just use Willis because that's what I'm familiar with when it comes to him. Um, but like Michael is given the the Willis treatment. He's treated as Willis, which I'm like, okay, so, okay, I get that they're both blonde and they're both from America, but they have different fashion sense and they have different Digimon. So I don't know what to say with that because like Michael has Betamon, Batamon, and Betamon, as I said, and then Willis has Terriermon and Kokomon, which are two very different Digimon than Bat Betamon. Um, but okay, so what we under what we know about Michael is uh, he is from uh, America, probably just from New York, since that's where they say that he's um, mostly from. Um, the little bits that we know about his past is that in 1999, um, when the Digimon started appearing all around the world, Michael saw a Gorillamon in New York uh, climbing the, I believe it was climbing the uh, Empire State Building, which is of course a reference to King Kong. Which I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, if you're going to throw that in there, I, I approve of it. Um, I also, uh, I pulled out my, uh, one of my uh, Nebraska tourist shirts that I got, and this is uh, Sasquatch at Chimney Rock. It's you know, like the, you know, Chimney Rock National Sasquatch Preserve. Um, I just figured, okay, it's an uh, America video, so two America videos, so we went with this. Um, <laughs> um. But so Michael, that's Michael's first interaction with Digimon as he sees this Gorillamon climbing the skyscraper in New York City. Um, climbing the Empire State Building, I'm pretty sure is what they say in the episode. Um, and then we learn that at some point during that time frame, he got Betamon as his Digimon. Whether this was maybe like a couple of months later that Betamon appeared, or whether this was, you know, a year or so later, we're not sure. Uh, we know that that event uh, happens in the summer of 1999. Um, and then the next thing that we know about Willis is he's uh, uh, in New York in 2001. And you know where I'm going with this. Um, ooh. I don't think the video will land in September, but if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm sorry um, for when I uh, post this. Um, it shouldn't, I don't think. Um, but in September 11th, 2001, Michael is in New York during the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center. And the reason we know this is because this is referenced with Mimi as well, because it stated that Mimi and her, Mimi uh, had been in New York when this happened. And that her, that she had rushed to um, the, the World Trade Center to try to help. The problem is with this is that Mimi wouldn't have had Palmon with her because Palmon would have still been in the digital world. Uh, Michael, however, would have had Betamon with him because um, it appears that Betamon is one of the Digimon that stays in the human world most of the time, in the real world, quote unquote, uh, most of the time and tends to stay around Michael. Um, and they would have gone to uh, the World Trade Center and they, it says that they helped uh, with trying to dig out survivors and stuff like that until like the, the police showed up and you know some other stuff 
uh, showed up uh, at the World Trade Center and they had to leave. And it stated that uh, Mimi and her mother then cooked uh, meals for a bunch of the rescuers. Um, now, I'm assuming this also, uh, uh, you know, stretched to the rescuers that were not digi-destined. Um, this is probably when Mimi and uh, Michael met for the first time and when Mimi met some of the other American digi-destines. Uh, Michael seems to be the main one that she interacts with. Um, and then we cut to 2002, which is when Digimon Adventure 2.0 takes place. Um, and Michael and Mimi travel to the digital world and they meet up with the Digi Dutton from Japan, you know, Mike, uh, Davis and Yoli and Cody and Kari and TK. Uh, this is prior to Ken joining the team because Ken is still the Digimon Emperor at the time. And they end up at uh, Digi Tomamon's restaurant. Uh, this is corresponds when uh, the uh, Samurai of Sincerity episode or so when um, uh, Yoli gets her uh, second uh, second Digi Armor A. Um, Michael and Mimi show up when Yoli is having problems with dealing with uh, Digitamon via, um, you know, money issues. And Willis, or uh, Willis, ha ha ha, Michael, Michael offers to pay. And then we get this whole, you know, him interacting with Yoli. And Michael is kind of portrayed as this like Prince Charming because he comes in and like helps Yoli. And uh, Yoli kind of develops a crush on him. And just is like, oh, he's so handsome. <laughs> I'm like, you're what, like 12? Calm down. Um, but, you know, so Michael talks and interacts with the uh, the other Digi Justin that are there. Um, and he explains this is where we get his backstory, that he's a Digimon. We meet his, we meet Betamon. And we get a couple of other interactions there. Um, this is when Michael explains, of course, that, well, you know, when I saw the Digi Justin, you know, the first time I saw Digimon was Gorillamon climbing a skyscraper in New York. But I think he says that, like, no one else could see it. So it's kind of one of those cases where, like, certain people could see them, but others couldn't. Um, and this is the episode where we kind of learn about, you know, this is when we learned that, like, Mike uh, Davis and his family had been in the uh, uh, convention center where my Otis Mon was, that um, Cody and his family had been on the plane coming back from England to get his father's remains, and that had been, you know, had, that had to be, you know, saved by... Uh, Garudamon, I think. And then we learn about the, that this is when Yoli says, well, I wasn't part of that, but I had sent emails to uh, during when um, Diaboramon had been attacking um, during the battle with Diaboramon and Omnimon. Um, so this is kind of where we learn about that little bit of a backstory for those Digi Dustin. Um, then Gorillamon shows up. Not 100% stated if this is the same Gorillamon or if it just happens to be another digi another Gorillamon that shows up at the restaurant and he starts attacking. Uh, if I remember correctly, he does have a dark ring on him. And uh, this is when we get to see Mimi and Michael actually work together. And this is when Michael digivolves his um, digivolves Betamon into Seedramon. Um, now, the first Seedramon that the Digi and Dustin interacted with kind of ended up attacking them. Admittedly, Agumon did set fire to its tail, admittedly, um, but they've also interacted with uh, Mega Seedramon and Metal Seedramon in the past as well. Um, via logic, it could be that if Michael and Betamon got strong enough, they could digivolve all the way up into Mega Seedramon and uh, Metal Seedramon. Uh, that doesn't mean that Betamon would become a Dark Master, though. It just means that he would have that same type of power level. Um, differences in Digimon there. Um, you know, some Digimon can be good and still be the same species of other Digimon that are bad. Um, and they battle again. Mimi Digivolves to Palmon up to Togemon, and then uh, pa Togemon and Cedarmon battle against Gorillamon and destroy the Dark Spiral. Uh, and then uh, after the battle, this is when Michael uh, Michael wonders if the Digimon Emperor would want to try to take over the digital world. Why he would want to try to take over the digital world. Uh, this is then when Digitamimon attacks, and we get the whole bit where um, Yoli, you know, the patron, you know, chastises him and gets very angry, and then she gets her, you know, Digi Egg of Sincerity. Um, and then Michael and Mimi then return to the real world. Um, uh, Michael kind of asks. Uh, you'll be out on a date, um, which we have no idea if that ever comes to fruition. Um, and then we don't really see Michael again until we get to the Digimon World Tour, as I mentioned. Um, Michael and uh, Betamon appear in the Digimon World Tour episodes. Uh, Imperial Dramon arrives in Miami, 
uh, where Davis, Ken, and Matt meet up with Michael. Um, Michael, uh, this is when uh, Ken and Matt head off to Mexico City on, I think it's on a helicopter uh, or on a plane, one of the two. They head off to Mexico City and that's where they uh, have their interactions there. Um, which we'll go over Rosa and the um, whole miscellaneous Digidestin vi video where I talk about the different Digidestin that they meet in the Digimon World Tour. Uh, and then Michael and Davis uh, then get onto a plane flown by Michael's father, who is revealed to be this famous like actor type thing that Michael Davis is just like, oh my god, that guy's my favorite actor. He's in all my favorite movies. <laughs> Um, he seems to be like a Western hero or something like that. So, uh, Westerns are actually, uh, if I remember correctly, I think at this time Westerns were quite popular in Japan. I do know that country music at this time was very popular in Japan. Um, so, you know, some of that kind of bleeds into that. Um, <laughs> Michael's father is called uh, <laughs> Michael J. Barton, who's a Hollywood movie star. Uh, so, you know, Michael, <laughs> you know, you know, he's just like, oh my god, it's this guy that I really, really like. Um, uh, but, yeah, so they they fly to New York. Um, Michael's father is apparently a pilot, and he's able to fly them to New York. Um, <laughs> you know, M Michael is just a little bit like, yeah, um, yeah, he's my dad. Moving on. Um, and they get to New York, which is where they meet up with Mimi and Palmon um, at the uh, the runway. Uh, at an improvised runway, and then Michael's dad just goes off and starts chomping down on a whole bunch of food. Um, <laughs> and uh, Michael and Mimi and Davis are all getting in contact with the other Digi Dustin that are in uh, New York at the time, gathering up the other Digimon. Um, again, those Digi Dustin will go over when I go over the miscellaneous Digi Dustin video, um, which I think will probably be after the Willis video. Um, I think I'm going to have that be uh, be that. Uh, have that be that way yeah um and then I'll still have like the dark spore children that I need to talk about but I still have a couple of other things to do in that time frame as well um but you know so they're talking about okay so where are we gonna have them all meet up and everything and they're like okay well how about we go this way and how about we do this and do this other stuff and you know their their main goal is to get the digi the digimon that have you know arrived to Central Park um and they end up uh, having to interact with this Digimon that's called Cherrymon because Cherrymon was one of these uh, Digimon that is being led by the Digi De the uh, American Digi Destin, <clears throat> uh, getting led by them uh, to Central Park so that way they can send them back. Uh, Cherrymon unfortunately ends up attacking the Christmas tree at Rockefeller Christmas tree at Rockefeller Center if I remember correctly, and then uh, Davis and Michael and Mimi have to go there and they help calm down. Uh, Cherrymon. Um, well, first they kind of get a little bit tangled up, and then they're able to help calm down Cherrymon. And then they're able to, you know, get all the Digimon and the other Digi Dustin back to uh, to Central Park, and then they're able to send them all back. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, Betamon gets sent back as well. Um, even though he, I think a bunch of the partner Digimon do get sent back, which is of course setting up for something that happens uh, in the last episode or the last two episodes of the series. Um, after that, like, they just kind of talk a little bit more with Michael, and then, as far as I'm aware, um, they just end up then, you know, Davis, uh, you know, gets back on, and, you know, they, I think it's probably, like, Michael's father probably, like, flies them back down to Miami or whatever, where they then meet up again with, you know, Ken and, uh, uh, Matt, and then they're able to, did you all fly back? Um, we don't see Michael again until kind of the, um, end of the series and like the final two episodes or so, uh, when they're dealing with, uh, Malamiotismon, um, when Davis and his group are dealing with Malamiotismon, uh, in the digital world and Malamiotismon is trying to, you know, coat the world in darkness. Um, Willis is one of the Digidestined along with Mimi and some of the other American Digidestined that we see. Um, in New York, all standing with, like, they have their digivices pointed to the sky, and they're glowing. Um, of course, allowing them to kind of connect with their Digimon, because all these other partner Digimon have all arrived at the place where the battle is taking place between Malamiotismon and the Digidestin. Uh, and, you know, Michael and Mimi are there, and so are a bunch of the other American Digidestins, and then when they're all kind of pulled to the digital world by the bond that they have with their Digimon. 
Michael is, of course, pulled in with that, and he's there with Betamon. We see him uh, near Ty, I think, um, even though I don't think Ty and Michael have ever met at this point in time. Um, but they, uh, you know, they're all there at that point in time, and they all help with fighting against the darkness. That's, you know, Malamiotis Mon, and they're all able to work together to defeat Malamiotis Mon. Um, and then, of course, that, you know, that helps save the digital world. And Michael is witness to what Obikawa does uh, with sacrificing himself to help uh, restore the digital world. Um, we don't really see anything else about Michael until we get to um, 2010. We don't really see anything else about Michael until we get to 2010 in the Digimon timeline, which corresponds with Digimon 2020 or Digimon The Last Evolution. Um, in regards to... Um, what goes on with, like, the Digimon Try, Digimon Adventure Try, um, there were theories that, like, maybe Michael was gonna show up, and Michael was gonna be, like, one of the Digi Dustin that was, like, with Matt and Yoli and Cody and Ken inside of the, uh, the cryostasis tubes, um, but that doesn't end up being the case, obviously, because it's just those four, and then Ty gets put in the other one by, uh, Nishijima and then sent back to, uh, the real world. Um, but there was like thoughts there that maybe uh, Matt or Michael was going to be one of them, um, or that he was going to pop up. I would have been fine if they did a little bit more like check in with some of the other Digi Destins because at some point they do show Izzy trying to um, get in contact with the other Digi Destin, but it doesn't really work. And then, uh, then when we get to the last evolution, um, Michael is one of the Digi Destin that does get taken by Eosmon and put into a coma. And then Betamon disappears, um, where we have, um, when we get to the crystalline digital world, um, we, we also see his name on, a, like, a list of Digidustin that, like, um, Izzy has next to, uh, Willis's name. Um, <laughs> um, don't know if they're sorted by just name or country or both or whatever. Um, but, um, what happens is we see Michael and Betamon there in, the crystalline world that um, Menowa has created. And he's stuck in like his 12 year old form. And him, he's not one of the ones that uh, goes up against Ty and Matt because uh, Menowa just uses their specific friends and the other Digi Dustin to go up against them. Um, but Michael is kind of, you know, Michael's just there. We see him there. Um, and then after Ty and Matt are able to defeat Menowan, defeat Eosmon, um, Michael, you know, is set free and him and the rest of the Digidestin reawaken with their consciousness in the real world, uh, implying that he is then, you know, re uh, reunited with Betamon. Um, in regards to anything else that we know, uh, this just implies that, you know, yeah, Betamon and Michael are fine, they're happy, um, unfortunately, it does imply that Betamon and Michael will have to go through the same thing that Matt and Ty went through and that Sora went through when it came to losing their Digimon because it's time for them to grow up or because they've lost their potential. I still stand by the reasoning that we do see the Digimon again later on in regards to the epilogue uh, that we get with the, um, is it prologue or epilogue? Which one's the one at the end of the story? <laughs> I think it's the epilogue that's at the end of the story. Um, because prologue, pro before, okay. Um, I don't know why I have a hard time with that. Uh, but like we see in the, the epilogue in, you know, the Digimon, at the end of the last episode of the uh, second season of Digimon, uh, uh, Adventures 2.0, uh, you know, we see that the other older Digidestin, that the older Digidestin have their Digimon with them again. So that implies that Michael is, you know, possibly going to be one of the Digi Dustin that gets their Digimon back at some point once, um, like, I still stand by the fact that it's like, you know, once they have kids, they can get their Digimon back. It's kind of where I put that, that, you know, oh, I'm going to be a parent. Poof, Digimon reappears. Um, uh, Michael, I mean, like, there's, I guess there's maybe some people that like to pair Michael with Mimi. I'm fine with that. Um, I still prefer Mimi and Izzy, but that's just my taste. Um, if Michael and Mimi are together, that's fine. Um, there's not really too much else we ever see about Michael. Um, 
he's probably still, you know, we don't, he may, may maybe he grew up to be an actor like his dad, or maybe he grew up to be a pilot like his dad, or maybe he did something completely different. We don't know. Uh, we don't really get anything else about Michael. Um, as I mentioned before, he is just treated as if he was Willis, um, receiving the same name and voice actor in regards to, uh, the Brazilian version of Digimon Adventure 2.0. Um, but, uh, that's about where this ends for Michael. Uh, as I said, we don't really know too much else about him. Uh, as Digimon is Batamon, can turn into Seedramon, uh, with enough, you know, practice and enough bond and I guess enough danger in regards to where he is. Um, he could Digivolve, uh, Seedramon into Mega Seedramon and then into Metal Seedramon, um, if ever needed, I guess. Um, but that hasn't appeared to be the case yet, so... That's what we have there for Michael, so I thank you very much for watching, and now I'm just going to go record Willis. So, have a nice day, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye! Betamon is really cool. He lives in the water and uses his Beta Slugger attack to wipe out his enemies.